Hey everyone, welcome to GeForce and our E3 2019 coverage. My name is Shannon Morris and I'm joined by Sean to talk about Watch Dogs Legion. Now I am a long time diehard fan of the Watch Dogs games. I would love to know, what is the premise of this game? So in Watch Dogs Legion, um, you play as, uh, as DedSec, which is a resistance group fighting back against an authoritarian regime that's taken over London. So we've taken London into the near future and now we've talked about all the world's problems that have contributed to changes in society and then how society reacts to those. So the first Watch Dogs game happened in Chicago Chicago, with Watch Dogs 2 happening in the San Francisco Bay Area, and now with Watch Dogs Legion, we have London. So why did you choose that city? So London is one of the most uh, surveilled cities in the world. It's also got amazing cultural contrasts with old buildings to modern buildings. We do a lot of pre-work before we start making a game. We send teams down there, we do lots of photographs, we send specialist teams to do investigations into local crime gangs, culture, small businesses, every single district and their cultural flavors, and then we bring all that back, we supply our teams, and then we build the amazing city. So as a playground for our characters, it's phenomenal. So I know with previous uh, Watch Dogs games, there was a lot of a hacker aspect to the game. Did you build upon that, or is this more focused on the resistance? We built it more on top of the hacking, and also added our new feature called Play As Anyone, which allows you to literally play as any character that you see on the street. So basically, every single person that you see in the world, they have different traits. You can profile them, you can look at their lives, and then you can see whether those traits are useful for your resistance. So then you can follow them, track them, help them with their problems. They'll suddenly begin liking DedSec, you can recruit them, and then you can play as them in your team. We also have something we call team traits. So any single character you recruit into your team, even if you're not playing them, they can still help you. So for example, so you're being chased by the private military corporation in the game, one of the characters in your team, if they have the team trait, can say, hey, let me help you out. And they'll start hacking vehicles so you can escape. And even when you've just played a character and you switch to another character, your previous character will even talk to you while you're playing. And it sounds like it's a very diverse set of characters that you can play as well. So can I mention Helen because she's my favorite? She's kind of an assassin as well as a hacker. She has her own spider and everything. Well, actually, uh, that's one of our classes. And any character that you recruit in the world can be assigned any of the classes. Helen could have been what we call an enforcer. She could have been a specialist with heavy weapons. She could have also been an infiltrator where she can hack AI devices of enemies. Those classes are very driven by how you want to approach a situation because actually the way our cinematics work and the way our story works is that whenever you play as a character and you see that cinematic, that personality comes out in that cinematic. So you can see the cinematic multiple times with different characters and they say different lines or they react differently based on that character's personality. It's very Whoa, cool. Oh, I love that. So what was the inspiration behind developing this kind of gameplay? So in the Watch Dogs brand, we always had the profiler and we decided this time around we wanted to really explore that. So what we did is we literally created a simulation from every single NPC in the city. So if you look into them, every single one of them has a schedule. If you follow them and they have a job, they will go to that job. If they're meeting someone for lunch, they will go to that place and meet that person for lunch. And all of these things systemically play together and create a very crazy simulation of London. And I know the experience on PC is going to be super fun because ray tracing is coming in the near future as well. Exactly. We have our RTX ray tracing technology and we can't wait to say more. Me too. Well, when does the game come out? I'm super excited about it. The game comes out March 6, 2020. Thank you so much for watching, and of course, don't forget to subscribe and comment below on any of our GeForce E3 2019 coverage for a chance to win tons of prizes, including a GeForce RTX 20 series graphics card and a 65-inch big format gaming display. I'll see you next time.